Hi there, and welcome to another edition of Tuesdays with Corey. I am here with Sean McKenna, who is the product owner for the infamous Azure Container. Instance. Infamous. Infamous already. Yeah. So we launched this last Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Yes, so we could not do it last week on Tuesdays with nope. Corey. Very sad for me. Yep. But here we are today. Yep. The next one. Indeed. Tell us a little bit about what this is. What, what did we launch and why does it matter? About this thing that went to number one on Hacker News. Whoops. This is, uh, doesn't happen every day. No, it doesn't happen every day. Um, so Azure Container Instances. Well, it does, I mean, it happens to something. Sure. Every day. I, I suppose I guess there's, something there's, is always There's always one. a number one. Yeah. Otherwise, this they'd is, have to look into that. So every single day, yeah. there's just not 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 always us. Not no. something that you built. Yes, okay. exactly. Okay, we're good. Um, Thank you for the clarity, everyone. Let's <laughs> we're going to keep going. Uh, so containers, kind of a big deal. Yes, right. They um, they seem to be popular. Yeah, yes. People people love their containers. Um, but to date, if you wanted to use containers, you had to use them kind of in the context of something else. Yes, right? you had to launch a VM, or you had to adopt an orchestrator, That's right. or some higher level service, That's and right. they were sort of part of that. That's right. right. It took, there were a bunch of steps, learning process, no matter where you were going. Exactly. Were going. Exactly. Okay. So we had lots of different options, yes. um, but they all involved some other overhead, some sure. other step, right? Sure. Um, so what we said was, hey, why don't we just make this a first class citizen okay. in Azure, right? Mm -hmm. If you want to run a container in Azure, why can't you just tell us, here's a container, container. I'll run and, and, and run it? Seems pretty intuitive. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that's basically, that's, it. that's basically what we did. So it's just a container. Yep. It's just, uh, just launch one. Yep. Okay. And you don't have to worry about orchestrator. You don't have to worry about any underlying platform any management, any VMs, nothing. That's right. Yep. Okay. So we take care of all of that for you. It's sort of the dream of the cloud, right? Yes. You just run your code and, and you don't promise. have to. Uh, it truly is the promise that has been given to all of you. Yep. So, so uh, that's basically that's the idea. It. So Simple. Should we take a look at? It? I think we should take a look. At, let's uh, let's go to the let's go to the demo. Yeah. So we're here in the cloud shell, which is another popular feature that we've shipped in the last couple months. And, and uh, uh, this is actually built. On top of As Azure a matter of fact, it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So even though we just announced uh, container instances to the public last week, we uh, Cloud, mm -hmm. Cloud Shell has been running for a couple months um, on top of the same infrastructure. Mm -hmm. um, and so I can use within the Cloud Shell or using the the downloadable CLI. I'm going to use um, the you know AZ command, which is what I can use to do all kinds of different things. That's with, just a with, with beautiful. Azure. It's super powerful. Right. Um, and what we've done is added a container module, so I can do AZ container create. Give it a name like you would expect for uh, an Azure resource. Hello. And then um, an image, right? Yes. So we're talking about containers, we're talking about images. Um, Docker image. compatible image. Um, and so in this case, I'm just going to use a Hello World image uh, that we've got up on Docker Hub. So you can either use images from Docker Hub, the Azure Container Registry, if you want private, private images, yeah. or basically any other Docker compatible mm -hmm. uh, registry. Um, I'm going to want to give that a public IP address so that external clients can get to it. And then, because it's an Azure resource, I'm just going to go ahead and put it in a resource group and hit enter on that. And you'll see fairly wow, quickly. Wow, that's pretty quick. Pretty, yeah. pretty quick, we get back a uh, response. And this looks like, if you're familiar with uh, with Resource Manager Jason, this will look fairly familiar to you. Jason who? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jason Zander. Um, <laughs> So uh, you see the the image that we provided, uh, the name. Um, there's some defaults that are set up here. CPU, so uh, yep. port 80, mm -hmm. one one core uh, CPU, one and a half gigs of memory. Yep. Um, and then the IP address yeah. uh, that we've that we've requested. Uh, and initially, it's going to be in this creating state, <clears throat> but usually within just a few seconds, um, we should have up and running. What do I call it? Hello world and demo. Uh, in a succeeded state, there it is. That. And so I should be. So you able can be able to list all all the containers. Yeah, right actually, I can just do a Z container list, give it the resource group, and put it in the table. Nice, pretty table. Look at that. Yeah. So I had one that I had spun up earlier, and then this one that we just created. Uh, both are in a succeeding state. So I'll go ahead and grab the IP address here, and open that up in another tab. And just like running. that, we've got seconds. a container spun up. Wow. And literally and, seconds. Literally seconds. And now, how, how are you paying for this? Uh, yeah, it turns out we, we do charge you. Um, okay, it's not, it's not free. No, it's not free. Um, 
But we do charge you by the second. Okay. So you have pretty close control over, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. over your cost. That's right? right. And so we expect there's going to be a lot of scenarios for this where people want to spin up a container to run for just you know 30 seconds sure. to, to, to run a build or do a test mm -hmm. or, or something like mm -hmm. that. Um, and so we charge you based on the amount of CPU that you request, the amount of memory, uh, by the second. That's and, cool. And then there's just a small charge for the, for the creation. Startup fine. Yeah, OK. Yeah. Got it, got it. Very cool. Very yeah. cool. OK. And so this is Linux. Uh, this is Linux today. Mm -hmm. uh, when it, Windows support will be coming in a couple of weeks. Very and basically, um, all all you need to do to launch a Windows container is pass in an OS type uh, switch on, on the command line there. Or, or, and, it'll, and it'll just work. And it'll just work. Just point to a Windows container then at that point. Yep, exactly right. Great. Yeah. Great. Well, that's super cool. So, um, what else? So, like, I guess you, you know some of the other things that you can pass through. Like, this is a, obviously a public endpoint, mm -hmm. um, but you could also make this into jobs. You can, you know, pass in parameters, right? All of that is possible uh, here through. Yeah. Through so, the a CLI, lot of the right? things that people that are familiar with using like the Docker CLI, passing yeah. in environment variables, right. being able to override the command, right. Um, right? You know, those those types of things that you might want to configure on your container. And you all do, that works here. You can do that here. Now, what about if I wanted to do like a monitoring additional thing? Like, I want to spin up a container. I want to have like a monitor. Like normally, this is done. You put two containers next the, to each other, the right? Sidecar. Yeah. Okay, exactly. Yep. Um, and I was thinking when, the sidecar. I was thinking like Indiana Jones mm -hmm. with, like, with like with like his father. Yeah. Ju you know, Junior. And we named the dog Junior. <laughs> or the, the no, not a not a big not a big uh. Indiana or the Jones the cartoons thing. with like the dog and the sort of there you go. The sidekick. That's maybe yeah. maybe more recognizable. Yeah. Come on, uh. Sean Connery. <laughs> That's fine. Anyway, go on. Uh, but sidecar. We, but we digress. We digress. <laughs> Um, What's that? Fox's name was Indy. Oh, Junior was his name. <laughs> yes. We named the dog Indy. I, I got the accent all wrong. <laughs> Sean, I'm sorry, Sean. Go on. Sean Connery. Connery, you. no. <laughs> yeah, that's that's you can apologize to me. <laughs> yeah, on I the, apologize on, on behalf yeah, and I'll, of... I'll bring it back to, the, to the, <laughs> the Sean Conference. To the Sean Conference. <laughs> um, <laughs> that sounds like a fun one. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's pretty wild. Yeah, okay. um, <laughs> the, the name tags are... The, uh, not useful. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, anyway. So yeah, sidecars. <laughs> okay. Uh, so yeah, we we talk about container instances, but actually what we're creating here is um, what we call a container group, mm -hmm. um, and that's basically you can create a collection of containers that will get scheduled on the same host machine. Right. And they just share. Like, I mean, you're just going to do this with like a couple. This is not yeah. like an orchestrator. Exactly right. right. Yeah, yeah. So these things share a life cycle. They get deployed Together. always onto the same machine. Um, they have shared network, I shared see. storage, um, and so they're they're it's as if they're the same container, but they're just coming from different right. And in fact, we present them as the same container from a security isolation perspective. That's right. Yeah. We just split it up so customers can have them embedded next to each other for things. I mean, monitoring is probably the best example of why you do that. Yep. Um, so, so, yeah, walk us through a little bit of the port experience. So you showed us the CLI. Maybe let's uh, minimize this little guy here. Mm -hmm. Let me to tell you how to do your job. No, 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 that's fine. But let me tell you how to do your job. Fair enough. All right. Um, so yeah, we've got support in the portal. Fairly uh, lightweight support, I would say, at this point. Yeah. But you'll, you'll get the the notion here of it's got the IP address. Yeah. It's, it's and so there. there's the the IP address and the OS type. Those are properties that sit at the container group level. Yep. Of course. Um, because you're gonna again, you're you're scheduled on the same host and yep. you're sharing network. So you're gonna have the same uh, IP, IP address and the same endpoint. OS. Um, uh, and then the type. same OS yep. type. And then but then if you had multiple container images Images that were part of your group, they sure. would be all listed here. Got it. Um, and so, yeah, you can you know manage your um, your containers inside of uh, the portal. We'll add uh, the ability to to delete them delete fairly them soon. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah. And you can also create actually create through the portal. Through the portal. Um, cool. And we've got actually one more thing I'll mention is uh, we enabled, or actually the Azure Container Registry team enabled uh, Deep Link Create. From the uh, container registry, so you can go right in the container registry and then create from there. Exactly, that's right? great. From within the portal, Makes it very simple to try it out. As yeah, container yeah. instance. Very cool. Yep. Well, Sean, this is awesome. Anything else you want to? Well, I guess just to, to tie back to this is not an orchestrator yep, yep. point, um, one other thing that we've done is uh, we're experimenting with what we're calling connectors, mm. uh, which is basically a bridge between you know a full-blown orchestration API like and Kubernetes this has an and, object into and it. container instances as sort of yes. the underlying infrastructure. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Um, and so we've got that project out there on GitHub. And for, we have the ACI connector for For Kubernetes. Kubernetes. Yeah. Yep. And, and so we, we will... Maybe show that next week. Yeah, that's probably a good follow-up episode to... So uh, stay tuned. Right? Yeah, I guess. exactly. Is that what we say now? Stay tuned? Stay uh, tuned. See you around? See, see you around. <laughs> this is, this, these guys mock me because I end all my blog posts. If you go back and read my blog posts, they all say see you around at the end. 
I'm a very nice guy, and they all are upset with that. So I don't know why. It makes it easy to regex for the content, though. That is true. Can actually, you can go the, find yeah. you can go find all my blogs. Yep. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Well, it's been really nice to have you on the show. <laughs> thank you, Sean. And I thank all Sean's out there I, for your. I'll take it back. <laughs> take, please take it back. <laughs> this is cool, though. Um, hopefully, everyone gets a chance to play with it. Um, uh, you know, and it started up so fast. We've wasted tons of time talking about random crap. Uh, because the container started so fast we didn't have anything else to do but I hope you enjoyed the show please if you have questions comments hit us up hashtag Azure TWC um, and uh, ask questions Sean and I will will do our best to answer and we will show you next week the connector for Kubernetes with ACI so with that thanks a lot and have a wonderful Tuesday All right. Rick, are we ready? Or? Yeah, yes, we're rolling. Okay, here we go. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Hi there, and welcome to another edition of Tuesdays with Corey. Rick, are my levels okay? You seem like super nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Your eyes are making me really creeped out. <laughs> we're good. Okay. I'm going to start this one over. Okay. Yeah. That was a soft launch. <laughs> All right. <clears throat>